Training paces shouldn't feel like guesswork, but for most runners, they do. You have one camp that tells you to run by heart rate. You have another camp that tells you to run by pace. And then someone else says RPE is all that matters. And then you jump on a treadmill and suddenly none of your numbers make sense because the treadmill doesn't speak miles per hour or heart rate or RPE. So I saw this problem with athletes I coach and I said, why don't I build this tool? So it's the tool that I wish I had when I was coming up. And it's a tool that I think every runner from day one can use. It's a single calculator that brings pace, heart rate, RPE, all in alignment so you can see it in a clear structure. Secondly, I have a treadmill speed converter as well. So you can start looking at your treadmill and easily convert back and forth between the miles per hour, kilometers per hour, and pace per kilometer, pace per mile. I put these into one clean, accurate system. And so if you've ever wondered, how fast should I run today? I hope this is gonna change everything for you. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Brant Stachel. I'm the most reviewed coach on Team Run Run with over 100 five-star reviews from real athletes like you. I've coached over 150 athletes to Boston qualifiers. I've helped more than 25 athletes represent Canada and I work with Olympians and pros on the mental side of performance. So whether you're trying to finish your first 5K, fine tune your mindset at the elite level, or try and get some paces and efforts that actually drive your training forward, this channel's here for you, and I hope you enjoy watching this calculator. One of the biggest issues I see with beginners to elites is the athletes using mismatched training metrics. They try to run an easy pace, or they check their heart rate, and they second guess their RP, and then they hop on a treadmill, and it's completely different. And suddenly the whole point of training gets lost. So accurate pacing isn't about being perfect, it's about being consistent and informed. So I built this calculator for my athletes and now I'm opening it up for everyone. All right, I've dropped the link below to the website where you can actually access this calculator. And so for those of you familiar, the pacing is going to come from the Daniels system. So you can input any distance here. So let's say it is marathon. You want to you run it in three hours, let's say, right? So that's going to give you three hours. The V dot here, 652 per mile. If you're Canadian or European and you wanna do it in kilometers, you can simply just hit kilometers. Um, if you prefer the mile system, we can use the miles. And so you can enter this. If you'd like, you can enter your age. So we'll just say 35. We can hit recalculate. Now in one easy chart here, we have what your Daniels language is kind of your labels for it, easy recovery, interval, 5K rep. We have your pace from the Daniel system. We have your heart rate for each zone. We have percentage of heart rate max. We have your RP and we have your five zone model. And then we have your uses. So I really try to put everything into one calculator so you can simply copy and paste this over and this becomes your training sheet, your paces sheet, your heart rate sheet, your RPE sheet, whatever you wanna call it. So you always have a way to do what I suggest to athletes, which is triangulate to make sure you're in the right zone, right? So if I'm coaching an athlete and I give them an e-pace run and this is their pace per mile, we are going to triangulate that with also your heart rate and or your RP. Those are the three I like to use. I'm not saying they're the only ones, but you can see here now you've got the ability to triangulate across three, whereas most calculators will just give you your heart rate or your percentage max, or we just assume you know your zones, or we just use Daniel style pacing. And so this calculator was my attempt to give you all in one place where you can get everything. You can also see your race equivalents as per Daniel's style across here. The second piece that you can do on this calculator is you can change, you know, Fahrenheit, feet, whatever you want. So if the temperature, you'll do your feels like temperature was let's just say 92, it was a nice spicy day out there for you. You can click calculate and it's going to reset what your performances would be based on the conditions applied above, right? So this would also train your training zones. So if you haven't watched, I have a video about the heat calculator that you can use, which I've built in here. And so this is where you're actually going to adjust your training in those conditions. Now, let's say you were at 5,000 feet as well. We can click calculate again, and that's going to further change your equivalencies as well as training zones. So this is a one-stop shop here. Second, I built out the treadmill pace calculator. So this is really mobile friendly because I don't know about you, but I've been getting ready to hop on a treadmill and you're forgetting your conversions. Maybe it's your first couple of winter runs for those of us coming up into winter right now. And so I built this so you can actually click and drag with your thumb on the phone. So that way, if you know that you're running at 8.0 miles per hour on the treadmill, that is 730s, right? So you can also change the incline. So if it's eight at a 1% grade, this will give you your actual pace or effort pace adjusted. 
um, as well. So this is just a really handy, you know, quick one I find. I'm always Googling treadmill pace calculator and I'm looking at the charts and I'm trying to, you know, figure it out and such. So this was my way of giving athletes a really easy way. So you can do it either way. So I want to run 640 miles on the treadmill. Okay, that's 9.0. I want to run you know, eight minute miles on the treadmill. Okay, that's 7.5. So, you know, my goal in this was just making it super simple and super easy for athletes to get the information they need so they can go focus on the running and not have all this overhead of trying to think and figure it out. And what should I do and how should I do it? It's like just one stop shop, figure it out. Here's your pacing, here's your RPE, here's your treadmill stuff. So that way everybody gets the opportunity to uh, train fast, train free and enjoy their training. So these are beta modes. I'm opening this up right now. As you can see, the UI um, isn't fully uh, designed and user friendly, but this is where we're at right now. And so I'd love any feedback you guys have. Um, if you enjoy it, please let me know as well. If you scroll up on this page, you can also get our fast and free worksheets and carb guide. Um, all of this is completely free to you. There's no paywall or need to sign up or anything. So if you've liked this, pass it on to an athlete who you think would be super helpful. Feel free to subscribe, um, leave a comment. Like I said, I'm, I'm interested in hearing your feedback as, as runners in terms of how you like this and, and what modifications might be needed. And hopefully I'll be able to uh, take that feedback and uh, make an even better version.